Hey, I'm back. Sorry if my voice is not still on point, but as you probably know, guys, uh, I got sick, like a ton of other people out there. I'm recovering, it's all good, and I was feeling good enough to record a video today, and I wanted to tell you that I truly appreciated all the good wishes and nice messages. I hope you and your families are safe and your 2022 is starting in the best way possible. As promised, here we are with the second part of the Commander testing for Honda Tadakatsu. In the first part, we have tested three promising combos with Honda, in the specific Honda Plus Trajan, Honda Plus Edoflet, and Honda Plus YSG. In the video, I already anticipated that I wanted to test Honda with Tomiris to check the synergy of the two commanders, and many of you in the comments asked about Honda Plus YSS as well, so that's what this video is about. But not only. In addition to testing the usual 1v1s with Honda plus Tomiris and Honda plus YSS, we will also test 5v5, so group fights in controlled environment. Speaking about control testings, we also tested the new game out. This video is kindly sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. I have to say, I handpicked the sponsorships for this channel because I want to keep the quality high, and I have seen many YouTube channels I like advertising this game, and one of the reasons is that their team gives you the possibility to say whatever the heck you want about it. And that's because it is a quality game. Not only because it has tens of millions of downloads, but because of the content. Raid's team is constantly introducing new content to the game, new quests, new missions, new champions, and speaking about new content, the brand new clan boss Hydra has hit the game. This piece of snake is probably one of the most challenging things on the game so far, with six heads, each of which is an entire boss battle on its own. Take the head of suffering, for example. You know that feeling you have when you get swarmed? Well, the more you attack this head when its pain link effect is active, the more you're gonna suffer alongside with it. You will need to pick specific champions to deal with this debuff if you want to focus your attacks on it. And with more than 600 champions, the possibilities are literally endless. And check out the head of wrath too. You know how angry an Italian person gets, me, when you say that pineapple pizza is a good pizza? Well, take that anger and you can almost start to understand how strong the attacks of this boss get after you've attacked it 15 times and the vengeance buff, no no no, not this one, activates and triples the damage dealt on you for an entire turn. Crazy stuff. Raid's also giving away a super limited edition champion, esports, legend and navi superstar simple. He's available for free to both new and old players in Raid. All you have to do is log in for 7 days between now and January 28th and he's yours. Currently, there are so many free promos going on in the game, you just need to click my link in the description of this video or scan the QR code on the screen, download the game and obtain a free starter pack worth $30, containing a free champion and 200,000 silver, among other stuff, which will be available in your inbox on the top right corner. Thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. I am honestly enjoying the game in my free time, and if you want to download it and try it out, I would love to know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Now, back to the video. Hello Rise of Kingdoms players and welcome back to the channel. Honda Tadakatsu. I will not present the commander again, I have already made a video about the skill breakdown and a first video testing, I just want to briefly introduce the testing conditions. Our dear OV member The Grinch, hopefully didn't ruin the Christmas to anybody this year, has maxed his Honda, and in addition to that, he has also maxed Tomiris and a max YSS. So, on the other side we have our leader Slaudi, who will be the punching bag since he has all the commanders. Both of them have been asked to remove all the equipments, remove any commander from the commander page on the top left, check their talent trees, remove any city skins and use a 50% army expansion. Both players have VIP 18, they have identical buffs and bonuses, and they have access to basically every single best open field combo in the game, and we will take good advantage of that since we will simulate controlled group fights in a 5v5 scenario, so not only 1v1 and you will not be disappointed. After presenting you the testings, I will express my own final rating of this commander and tell you which are, in my opinion, the top three combos you should really consider running with Honda and why. The only thing we had to kinda compromise with here was Honda's talent tree. See, once you enter the Ark of Osiris battlefield, 
you cannot change your talents anymore. And it's obvious that Honda with Tomiris requires a specific set of talents, avoiding all the rage regeneration and buffs, while Honda with YSS really can make good use of those talents. And why do you need to avoid rage talents with Tomiris? Well, the answer is pretty straightforward. The only reason I had in mind to test this specific combo was because of Honda's very long skill cycle, requiring 1350 rage to activate its active skill. Same as Edward of Woodstock, basically. That's why it could work very well with Tamiris. Having a skill cycle this long would consent her to stack as many poison layers as possible before firing the active skill for maximum damage. Speaking one last moment about talent trees. The suggested one for Honda with Tomiris is this one, making sure not to go all the way to rejuvenate on the skill tree. Unfortunately, Undying Fury here is kind of a forced choice because you cannot go for anything else. The third tree available is Versatility. The talent tree I suggest for everything else, Honda plus YSS, Honda plus Trajan, Honda plus Edelflaid and Honda plus YSG, which we tested in the previous video, is this one, picking up the most rage we can, and in the previous video we used exactly this talent tree right here, going all the way to feral nature, trying to reduce the skill cycle length to the minimum possible. Putting aside all the opinions on talents and the rage study we have conducted on this channel, I always said that it is beneficial to pick up feral nature when you have an abnormally long skill cycle. In fact, I suggested to pick it up in the case of Edward of Woodstock, if you remember in my talent tree video, so this case for me is more or less the same. And you need to consider that in 1v1 and in small group fights, Feral Nature is even better. Now, I'm going to show you the 1v1 reports, but keep watching for the group fight results. Let's start from Honda and Tomiris. Since last time Guan Yu and CJ had a better result in 1v1, because of the fact that the damage is essentially just delivered faster, we will use that instead of Guan Yu and Leonidas. That doesn't mean that Guan Yu and CJ is a better choice compared to Guan Yu and Leonidas. I always said that they are both tied, in my opinion, and it depends on the context. It's just better for me to stress the tested combo as much as I can. First report, Honda and Tomiris versus Guan Yu and CJ. Second report, Honda and Tommy versus Zhang Yu and William. Third report, Honda and Tomiris versus Amani Tore and Artemisia. Fourth report, Honda and Tomiris versus Nebuchadnezzar and YSG. All the top combos defeated Honda and Tomiris, but we will explain the implications later. We had 40,000 left on Guanyu and CJ, 40,000 on Zhang and William, 65,000 on Amani Tori and Artemisia, and 35,000 on Nebu and YSG. Now, we do the same with Honda and YSS. Versus Guanyu and CJ, 32,000 troops remaining. Versus Zhang and William, 25,000 troops remaining, versus Amanitori and Artemisia, 17,000 troops remaining, very surprising considering it's uh, an archer march versus a mostly infantry march, and versus Nebuchadnezzar and YSG, which lost. Yeah, Nebu and YSG lost against Honda and YSS, and this was the only lost battle of this 1v1 test. I remember that the talents were not optimized, and some of those battles could very well tip over in favor of Honda. Like, for example, Honda and Tomiris versus Nebu and YSG, or Honda and Tomiris versus Guan Yu and CJ. In general, I think that Honda and YSS is not really a good idea. Yes, the 1v1 nuke is quite high, but since the second commander, YSS, has no AoE when he's out of garrison, you don't really see the benefit of using YSS over other more useful commanders, such as Tomiris, Strasian, and YSG. Tomiris is as well single target oriented, but she will debuff the target so much that in a swarm you will see the real benefit. Not to mention the fact that the poison stacks are fully visible for anyone to see and also makes the team better coordinated even not having a constant voice chat communication. And that's an important aspect to take in consideration. This is why I am saying again that 1v1 just gives us an idea. That is exactly why now we are going to proceed with the 5v5 testings, so controlled group fights. I remember all is controlled, including the civilization and the order in which they are attacking the commanders. On one side, we will have Slaudi with the top 5 open field marches in my opinion, which are Guanyu and Leonidas, this time you use Leo because Grinch does not have CJ. 
Xiang Yu and William, Amanitori and Artemisia, Nebu and YSG, and Trajan with Edelflit, or Edelflit with Trajan, whatever you prefer. Grinch on the other side will use the exact same marches, but we will change the fifth one. Instead of Trajan and Edelflit, he will use Honda and Trajan. We want to see if removing one of the favorite debuffers in the game will still keep the group strong. Honda and Trajan is a great march, as we have seen in the previous testing video, but has one flaw when taken individually in 1v1 fights. You cannot take advantage of Trajan's skill buff, simply because there is not a commander to fire an active skill after Trajan buffs you. That is why he is, of course, better off in group fights. The first one is won by Slody, with two marches left. The second one is won by Grinch, with three marches left. The third one was once again won by Grinch, with one march left, his Honda, barely alive. The fourth one again won by Grinch, with one march left. The fifth one by Slaudi, with two marches left. Of course, it depends much on the AoE and how the troops move. Even if we had a specific target order in our voice chat to try and keep the battle fair and controlled, with so many variables, there are just things that you cannot control like the micro-movements of the marches. But you can see that the battle can go either way. We have tried the same with Tamiris, and the result is similar. So which Honda pairing should you use if you decide to max him out? Well, definitely Tamiris is an option, because of the benefits it can give to your team in a group fight. With the right talents, these ones on the screen, the ones I showed you before, you can go close to fully stack the poison in a group fight and help your allies and your other marches to melt the enemies down one by one. If you get swarmed though, you can get wrecked. Honda requires you use only two troop types, but of course, you want to put a small amount of a third type in order to benefit from the leadership talents you got. On the screen, as a bonus, you can see exactly that. The troop spreads if you are VIP 14 to 17 or if you are VIP 18. Trajan as secondary to Honda is definitely an upgrade for me compared to Trajan and Edelflet, but, but only if used in limited amounts. You do need Edelflets on the field. The debuffs they bring on the table is too valuable to give it up. But throwing some Honda plus Trajan and Honda plus Tomiris in the mix definitely helps your damage output. My final and probably best recommendation is to use Honda and YSG. I mean, YSG can be used with so many commanders, Alex and YSG in early KVKs, even Richard and YSG, LC and YSG, Cyrus and YSG, Neb and YSG, Artemis and YSG, Ramses and YSG. YSG is good with so many commanders, even Zhang Yu and YSG, even if it's not an archer commander. But with Honda, man, in the first video testing, as well as many reports that I got from field fights in KVK, this combo was a beast. The damage output is just crazy high. Yes, Honda has the highest damage factor for the active skill, even if you need to consider the longer skill cycle, so YSG still is the king. But with those two commanders combined, Honda and YSG, and with YSG's 50% skill damage increase, this combo has a tremendous skill damage output. You can use it with mostly infantry without hurting yourself, use a basic infantry equipment with leadership special talent, and by the way, check out our website, rocktool.com, for infantry equipment options, and have some great results. It's not a case that Hon and YSG is probably one of the most used combos for people who are at the top of the Champions of Olympia rankings. I'm no specialist in Champions of Olympia, I don't play Champions of Olympia, but that is not a case, and I've heard some people speaking about it. You need to keep in mind though that Honda Plus Trajan handles better the swarms compared to all the other combos listed, of course thanks to Trajan's defense buff, including Honda and YSG, but Honda is also quite fast commanders to be a leadership one, because he has a huge amount of march speed and we tested that and checked that it affects all troop types, even if you have a single troop type in your march, for example, cavalry. And this conducts us to our final bonus tip. The single fastest march on the field now is Cao Cao plus Honda secondary, because no cavalry commander has the same amount of march speed that Honda has. He will be 5% faster than Cao Cao and Zhang Yu, or Cao Cao and Genghis Khan. 
Nothing, just a final small consideration to close the video up and a bonus for who watched the content until the end. And I will try to include tips at the end of each video in order to reward the ones who really invest their time watching long videos like this one. I wish you a good day, a wonderful beginning of 2022, and I will see you on the next video. Ciao!